And we'll move on to the thyroid. Uh, another um, issue with uh, many practitioners uh, and, and patients is that they're afraid of taking too much thyroid or, un, quote, unnecessary thyroid because the thyroid medication can be dangerous to your health. Uh, I'm sorry, for your heart. <laughs> dangerous for your heart. In other words, by taking too much thyroid medicine, you, you uh, theoretically can cause uh, rapid heartbeat, um, heart problems, even heart attack. Now, one thing to remember is hyperthyroidism is associated with uh, rapid heartbeat and, and also atrial fibrillation. Um, but the fact that uh, hyperthyroid is a distinct category of thyroid problem doesn't um, relate to many people who have low thyroid and need to balance it to a point where they're getting physiologic doses. Um, interesting study that was done in 2007 um, by the uh, uh, European Journal of Endocrinology. They found there was a linear relationship between uh, low TSH and total cholesterol. Um, so in other words, the, the, the higher the TSH, the higher your cholesterol would get. Um, and same with LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, and also the good cholesterol, the HDL, high density lipoprotein. So very fascinating that uh, if, you're, if you're TSH, and in other words, your thyroid stimulating hormone and your thyroid function is poor, um, then uh, you're, you're going to be producing more lipids in response. So your body will, won't be able to metabolize these uh, cholesterol, uh, the cholesterol and lipids in your bloodstream. Now, let's talk about free T3. Uh, free T3 has been shown to uh, be the, the key serum marker to really uh, detect how well you're doing, how well your thyroid is doing. So signs of low free T3 include um, lower heart rate and also higher diastolic blood pressure. That's the blood pressure on the bottom of the two numbers. Um, low free T3 also uh, it corresponds to poor control of blood fats um, and also elevated C-reactive protein and homocysteine, which are markers of inflammation in the body. So again, we, we see uh, low T3 as a good marker of overall metabolism. Uh, it's also in, implicated in a poor prognosis for cardiac patients who are already on, uh, already have a low free T3.